Good morning to all. Today we will discuss some interesting cases cured and managed by homeopathy. These cases are incurable or purely surgical according to conventional systems of medicine. But we can manage this type of diseases to a great extent. Along with the cases, we will discuss a methodology and some specific rubrics also so that everybody can replicate or reproduce the results. Homeopaths should see opportunity in every difficulty, but not difficulty in every opportunity. Not difficulty in every opportunity. So one case of renal calculi with the fatty liver, renal calculi with the vomiting, and nausea on eating and the complaint started on uh, in January 2017, and we prescribed the remedy Osimum Canum Tinger. And always remember Osimum Canum is a specific remedy for the renal calculi with omitting, especially if that is on the right side also. Remember Osimum Canum, not Osimum Sanctum. In order to get an immediate relief to the pain and for the vomiting also, we can prescribe the Osimum Canum teacher. So the fatty liver, according to the USG, the fatty liver, 4 mm stone in both kidney, urine with the pus and epithelial cells. Then after relieving the pain, we prescribed the remedy like a podium tenum. We again conducted the USG, that USG, no stone, no fatty liver. See the impression, no significant abnormality detected after one dose of like a podium tenum. Then related rubrics also. In, in our modern repertories and also in the in the basic repertories like Kent Boger, Boningas and etc. We will get the rubric kidney pain colic right. Osimum canum that is the most important remedy followed by Lycopodium, Naxomica, Beriberis vulgaris etc. Another rubric is uh, kidney pain ureter phlegm for the left sided Beriberis vulgaris and is an important remedy. And remember Lycopodium is also represented in the left sided renal colic. Another important mother danger that is Barriera Preva. Then urine sediment oxalate of lime. Suppose the urine examination contains the calcium oxalate crystals, we have to take this rubric. Nitric acid is a very important remedy. Usually we are prescribing it, it in, lo in lower potency that will dissolve the calcium oxalate stone. And if the, and if the urine examination contains the phosphate stone, then the most important remedy is acidum phosphoricum. The, the rubric is urine, sediment, phosphates of life. Then suppose the urate stone, the rubric is urine, cast containing urate. Then the most important remedies are the benzoic acid, beriberis vulgaris and Kali carbonicum. So depending upon the nature of the stone, the remedies are entirely different. And also on the location of the pain, whether it is on the right, right renal colic or the left, left renal colic. Okay, then another case of uh, an endometrial thickness. A female aged 30, menorrhagia since the last two months. The endometrial thickness is 22 mm. The normal thickness is 8 mm. But in this case, that 22 mm that results in that resulted results in the endo, means menorrhagia, continuous flow of, of menses since last two months. And along with that, the patient has hirsutism and the protracted flow for 25 days, nearly 25 days of menses every month. And the patient is obese also, 97 kg and the obesity after the delivery and the hemoglobin hemoglobin um, is 14.6 gram. And always remember in almost all type of menstrual irregularities, we have to check the hemoglobin count also. Now the prescription in this case. Initially we prescribe the remedy calcarea carb 200, one dose. And if there is severe bleeding, in order to arrest that bleeding, we have prescribed Nexomica 30 also as, as an SOS remedy. Nexomica is an important remedy mentioned in the Materia Medica Pura by Dr. Samuel Hanneman for the menorrhagia in order to arrest the flow. And after one month, the patient came to our OPD and then the complaint relieved almost. Now the patient has four days bleeding only, four days excessive bleeding only. And we prescribed one dose of Nexomica 1 m and uh, conducted an USG. The endometrial thickness is 5.6 mm and the weight of the patient is 96 kg, still need to reduce the weight. So with the help of the remedy calcarea carb, in this case we got the endometrial thickness from 22 to 5.6 mm. See the initial uh, USG, that is the endometrial thickness is 22 mm. 
then in the next scan the endometrial thickness is 5.6 mm only okay yes now another case of pcod plus fatty liver polycystic ovarian disease plus fatty liver age of the patient is uh, 24 since last month, six month the patient has this complaint and in this case the hemoglobin level is only 9 and in the USC fatty liver menses is late late for one or two months TSH and the ferritin level that is within normal limit and on the USC the bilateral cystic polycystic ov ovaries so we prescribed the remedy like a podium tenum and we took the uh, USC after one month no PCOD and the hemoglobin count that is 10.4 from 9 to 10.4 without any iron tonics or iron preparations. So these are all the rubric we took in this case. The entire female menses late to abdomen fatty degeneration of liver, female tumors, ovarian cyst, lycopodium phosphorus are the main remedy. So, so in this case we prescribed lycopodium. So this is the initial uh, for USG, see the con conclusion, fatty changes in the liver, polycystic ovarian disease and after one month we took the scan and this uh, no obvious sonological abnormalities detected. So that is the beauty of homeopathy with one dose of lycopodium tenum. Then one case of a multiple large renal calculi. The age of the patient is only 24 renal calculate left ureteric calculate 12 into 8 mm then another one 10.8 mm then 5 mm this type of calculate multiple large renal calculate usually the 8 mm calculate the calculate below 8 mm it is very easy to manage because the dilatation of the ureter that is maximum to 8 mm only so above that usually surgery is needed but don't worry about that the homeopathic medicine can cure even the large stones also. This is a stone of 12 into 8 mm, then 10.8 mm and 5 mm. Remember, below 8 mm, it is very easy to manage. So, initially, we prescribed a lycopodium tenum and Berberis stinger, uh, since that is a left side ure 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 renal colic. If there is pain, uh, the patient has to take the Berberis stinger. Then, uh, again, in the next month, we prescribed a Berberis stinger and also one dose of lycopodium tenum. And in between with that patient complains about some insufficient or incomplete feeling of the urination and we prescribed one dose of Thuja uh, 30. Then after we prescribed the remedy Naxomica tenum followed by Beriberis as SOS, SOS. And then again we took the scanning. Now the patient has uh, two stones only that is 3 mm and 4 mm. The largest stones like the 12 into 8 mm that is disappeared and also the 10 mm that is disappeared. So again we prescribed one dose of lycopodium CM. So this is the first photograph, that I means the USG, 10.8 into 5 mm stones, the largest multiple renal calculate, the largest 10.8 into and also the another one is that is 5 mm. And in the second scan that is a bilateral small renal calculate. The size of the calculate is about uh, that is 3 mm, 3 mm and 4 mm only. So, even though the stone that will not, above the size of 8 mm will not pass through the ureter, don't worry about that, homeopathy can effectively cure this type of large stones also. And this is a case of hepatitis C. In a, in a patient of age 23 from Calicut itself, anti HCV, that is a uh, 3.49, that is initial value. And in the second scan, uh, second report 3.32 and in the third report after one month, usually we are giving medicine for one month, non-reactive. And with the remedy we prescribed in this case is Magnesia Muriatica. Magnetium, Magnesia Muriatica is the only remedy that is represented in uh, synthesis repertory for the Hepatitis C. Okay. And now sixth case, that is a para-ovarian anechoic cyst. And this is in this case, the age of the patient is around 31, 31 female, left over in cyst since the last two years. Pain in the left iliac region that aggravates on lying down, flatline food aggravates, G3, P3 and L2. USG, left anechoic cystic lesion, 9.6 into 3.7 centimeter. Remember, that is in centimeter. 
large anechoic cyst 9.6 into 3.7 centimeter and after the medication there is no cyst we prescribe the remedy lactase is 200 initially and then lactase is uh, 1 num 10 num that is repeated after one or two months interval so this is the first scanning left para ovarian uh, shows uh, elongated tubular clear thin walled anechoic cystic lesion measuring 9.6 into 3.7 centimeter and after the lactase is tenum no obvious abnormalities detected in the USG scan so even though cyst is very large we can cure completely with the help of the homeopathic remedy now one case of multiple gallbladder calculi the age of the patient is only 22 past history of appendicectomy we took the case and repetized and prescribed the remedy like a podium one num and if there is any severe pain the patient has to take the colosynth tincture SOS then in the next scanning there is only two calculi after the lycopodium 1 num then again we prescribe a lycopodium 1 num then in between that we prescribe the remedy feltori 3x and 6x feltori that is a preparation from the gallbladder calculi that seems to be as an adjuvant remedy along with the potentized remedy or the constitution remedy we, we can prescribe the feltori 3x or 6x for the gallbladder calculi and in the second scan there is no calculi see this is multiple gallbladder calculi the first scanning tiny gallbladder calculi in the second scanning then no mass lesion or calculi in the abdomen so multiple gallbladder calculi that also can be easily managed with the help of homeopathic remedy now the rubric for the gallstone there is a direct rubric in the chapter abdomen gallstone arsenicum album maxol etc the remedies that is represented in complete repertory by roger and sandra wood then abdomen, pain, liver, colic gallstone. If there is severe pain, we have to work out this rubric also. Abdomen, pain, liver, colic gallstone. So the important remedies are the Beriberis vulgaris and Cardus marianas. These are the two remedies that we are giving in the mother tinger or in the lower potency to get, uh, to get an, a fast improvement for the acute pain. Both will work the Beriberis vulgaris and Cardus marianas. Then in complete synthesis repertory, abdomen, inflammation, gallbladder. If there is cholecystitis that you can identify because of the severe pain and also that is mentioned in the USG, cholecystitis. Remember the two important remedies for the cholecystitis that found very effective, hedrahelix and natrum sulfuricum. And then there is subrobric, acute, then chronic, septic. If the cholecystitis that results in fever and other associated septic condition, then the best remedy that we found effective that is phosphorus. So cholecystitis, gallbladder gallstone, gallstone colic, then cholecystitis or inflammation of the gallbladder. Now one, one interesting case of cholelithiasis, cholelithiasis and fatty liver. Cholelithiasis means in the bile duct, stone in the bile duct. And the gallbladder calculi, the size of the calculi is 7.5 mm. It is very difficult, usually because the size of the bile duct is only 2 mm. But don't worry, with the help of this uh, homeopathic remedy, we can cure even the largest zone that will uh, crush at the gallbladder itself and pass through the bile duct. So remember the size is 7.5 mm, 2 mm and below 2 mm it is very easy to manage. So we prescribe a lycopodium 1 mm in this case and for pain barbaris vulgaris. Then as I said earlier, then Feltori also prescribed on the other day, we uh, the patient is taking the lycopodium 10 mm and after the scan, the patient has no calculi. We took the following rubrics in this case abdomen, gallstones, abdomen, pain, liver, colic, gallstone, then abdomen, pain, vomiting with. The patient has severe abdominal pain with the vomiting and the general food and drinks, fat food aggravation. The patient has this particular complaint also, the complaints that aggravates from taking fatty food, and that is common in many of the gallstone colic. So in the first scan, grade 1 fatty liver, cholelithiasis, cholidocolithiasis with upstream biliary stasis. And in the second scan, no evidence of any calculi, wall thickening or, or uh, pericholecystic collection, no sonographic tenderness. So that is the beauty of homeopathy. Even though the gallbladder calculi is uh, comparatively, uh, the size is very high, we can manage it with the homeopathic caravan. And then another interesting case of chronic calcific pancreatitis, pancreatitis. 
the age of the patient is also the patient is comparatively young 24 only and the patient has pain in the epigastrium since last one year the pain ameliorates by lying on the abdomen and diagnosed as chronic calcific pancreatitis remember the age of the patient is only 24 then fatty liver and the patient has a desire for seeds and hot patient frontal headache since childhood that is ameliorated by the sleep headache ameliorates by a good sleep and the patient has recurrent apathy of the mouth and caries of the teeth serum amylase is 234 serum lipase is 204 and we prescribed the remedy Marxol 1 in this case after the repetition and for the pain, if there is severe pain, we have the patient has to take the remedy iris versicolor. Pain is a distressing symptom that we have to give some immediate improvement. And the iris versicolor is a good remedy to, Im to immediately improve or relieve the pancreatic pain. For every organ, this type of some superficial or the mother danger form remedies are there. We can prescribe in the lower potency or in the mother danger form. Then we repeat, uh, repeated the remedy with the Berksol tandem and see the scan, no calculator. So, in the first scan, uh, fatty liver, chronic calcific pancreatitis. Remember, the chronic calcific pancreatitis is purely a surgical condition according to the so-called modern system of medicine. They will remove the pancreas. So, fatty liver, chronic calcific pancreatitis. Then after the Maxol, no obvious calculi seen in the pancreatic nerves. So, that is the beauty of homeopathy. And the rubric, abdomen inflammation pancreas. That is a rubric represented in uh, synthesis repertory for pancreatitis then abdomen pain pancreas the main remedy iris versicolor remember there are two remedies iris versicolor and iris panax but in the case of pancreas we have to give the remedy iris versicolor in order to immediately relieve the pain then in, 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 this, in the complete repertory by roger and sandra Boot, there are some rubrics are there pain burning pancreas pain burning smarting pancreatic cancer in calcarea ars is the remedy then pain pancreas, calcarea ars, iris versicolor and maxol are the remedies. In this case, we prescribed the remedy maxol. Then pain pancreas cancer in calcarea ars again the remedy. Pain pancreas salivation from suppressing another remedy is there. Now another case of metragia from fibroid. Multiple fibroid, the largest one 8.3 cm into 7.1 cm. Centimeter. Remember the size is in centimeter. 8.3 cm into 7.1 cm submucosal, another one 12 into 24 mm. So, metragia from fibroid. Uh, the phosphorus we prescribed in this, uh, this, uh, this case, and the patient has LD, uh, some LL, LL, low back pain. Then we prescribed a calcarea floor 30. Calcarea floor seems to be one of the good remedy for the large fibroid that is mentioned in our literature and in repertory and material medical also. For the large fibroid, calcarea floor is a good remedy, but never repeat the calcarea cup frequently that may result in the increase in the size of the fibroid. So, in the second scan, the size uh, reduced into 64 into 40 mm. Uh, that is initially the size increased, remember, because we frequently repeated the calcarea floor that is, results in the increasing size of the uh, fibroid uterus. Then we prescribed a fraxinous mother teacher. Then calcarea floor tandem, infrequent repetition. Then again we took the scan. Then the, the size of the uh, size is reduced into 31 into 51 mm only. Earlier it was 8.3 centimeter into 7.1 centimeter. Now it is 31 into 51 millimeter. So in this case, uh, better to avoid prescribing the frequent repetition of the calcarea floor 3x, 6x or 30. It is better to give the higher potency and in, in infrequent doses. Otherwise, that may result in the increasing the size of the fibroid. The rubric in this case, uh, female uh, metragia fibroidism. That is a very good rubric for the menorrhagia or the metragia uh, as a result of the fibroid uterus. That will definitely improve the bleeding and also the size of the uterus, means the fibroid. Then general cell, then the genitalia female, tumors, uterus, myoma. These are the two rubric in this case. So in the first case, the multiple fibroids that is noted and the largest one measuring 61 into 40 mm. Endometrial thickness is 14 mm. So the impression fibroid uterus, thick endometrium. The endometrial thickness is remember 14 mm. The usual size that is a normal size is 8 mm. In this case, 14 mm. And the largest fibroid measuring that is 31 into 51 mm endometrium is normal. That means the appear uh, 8 mm like that is that is uh, changed into 8 mm. And the largest fibroid that is also reduced into size of 31 mm. Then another case of fibroid with the ovarian cyst. 
It's a chronic ovarian cyst of 13 years duration and the sites are also alternating. Severe pain, that's bilateral pain in the abdomen, left to right, intramural fibroid also, menstruation every two weeks with the scanty discharge. The patient has menstruation, polymenorrhea, menstruation every two weeks with the scanty discharge and at the time of menses the patient has headache also. So we took the rubric, uh, tumors or uh, ovary cyst, that's rubric for the ovarian cyst. Then pain uterus, menses during, the patient has pain during the menses. Then female tumors, uterus myoma, that's rubric for the fibroid uterus. Head pain, menses during, the patient has severe headache during menses. And the remedy, calcarea carb, belladonna and graffitis are the remedies. So see the scan report, fibroid measuring 19 into 28 mm, noted in the uh, anterior wall. So grade 1 fatty liver, simple hepatic cyst, bulky uterus with fibroid, left ovarian cyst with benign morphology. And in the second, uh, second scan, anterior lateral fibroid size 26 into 25 mm, grade 1 fatty liver, simple hepatic cyst, bulky uterus with fibroid. And see in the third scan, no mass lesion, grade 1 fatty liver, simple cyst in the liver. Uh, then uh, there is no fibroid uterus or cyst in the ovary. Another case of a right renal colic with vomiting, right side renal colic with vomiting, 4 mm stones in the both the kidney. So in this case as we discussed earlier, the pre prescribed the osimum pinger and also the nitric acid. Nitric acid is a very good remedy uh, for the calcium oxalate stone. So that is a scan report, no significant abnormality detected. Then a case of multiple renal calculi, a female of 47 years. Pain in the right hypochondrium, multiple right renal calculi, largest 6 mm. Urine contain abundant of pus. So for the pus in the urine, the rubric is urine sediment purulent. An epithelial cast 20 to 30. So urine cast epithelial, that's a rubric. And RBC 2 to 3, that means urine cast bloody, that's a rubric. So we have to take these rubrics also. We prescribed a lycopodium and, the, and also beriberi stinger as SOS. So multiple calculi noted, the largest measure 6 mm in the interpolar region. And in the second scan, only a small calculi, that is of 3.5 mm, the rest of the calculi disappears. Then a case of a left ovarian cyst of 10 years. And the age of the patient is 42. Left of the patient has left iliac pain. And the size, so that is 3.4 into 2.6 mm, menses is regular. Headache during menses, the patient is anemic also and the obstetrical history that is a full term, normal de delivery, bowels and urine etc are good and sleep and, uh, is also good. We prescribed Thuja 30 initially then followed by Lachesis 10 as a remedy and we took the following rubric in this case, tumor sour in cyst left side, pain iliac region left, food and drinks meat aversion, general semaciation appetite with ravenous. So the first scan, left over insist, then no significant abnormality detected, other abnormality detected sonologically. So that's the scan report first. Then menorrhage of 8 month duration. The patient has profuse bleeding, menorrhage of 8 months up to the period, uh, bleeding is up to next period. Intermittent flow and there is a polypoidal thickening of uterus, fissure in ANA, endometrial thickness is 6 mm, hemoglobin in 12. TSH is 0.41 and the patient took a lot of Ayurveda for the, for the fissure also and the patient is saying that the complaint started after that but we don't know the exact reason, bubbles uh, and the urine sleep etc are good and the patient has sour food aggravation, prefers mm -hmm. warm food, chilly patient and we prescribed the Tuja 30 and the patient went abroad along with his husband then uh, we repeated the remedy phosphorus 30, one dose per month, bleeding arrested and phosphorus is a very good remedy to arrest the bleeding if there is a fibroid with the metragia or menorrhagia. And took scan in the next year only because the patient came after one year to the Kerala. And in the next, next scan, no polyp, no fissure. So we took the following rubric, rectum fissure, menses protracted, menses intermittent, then polypus uterus. There is a polypoid L thickening and the general heat, a vital lack of mouth ulcers, syphilitic. Anxiety trifles about ailments from chaos and worries, ailments from grief, general medicine, allopathic abuse of. Patient also took a lot of allopathic remedies, 
then rectum constipation drugs after abuse of so polypoidal thickening at the fundus measuring 15 into 10 mm endometrial cavity show focal uh, sorry focal polypoidal thickening at the fundus measuring 15 into 10 mm so that's the initial scan and the second scan after the phosphorus no uterine pathology detected so these are all some cases we will share the rest of the cases in the part 2 so always remember for getting the best result in homeopathy our case taking should be perfect if you neglect making a careful case taking the patient will be the first sufferer if you have no time just give a cell and ask the patient to come next time and take the case in detail never give a remedy randomly so if you neglect making a careful case taking the patient will be the first sufferer but in the end you yourself will suffer from it and ultimately homeopathy also because the people may blame homeopathy stethoscope is the most expensive jewelry for it costs you your youth that's one of the most expensive jewelry and you have you have brain in your head you have feet in your shoes you can steer yourself in any direction you choose that means your attitude determines determines your altitude a small change in attitude makes big difference so please visit our website homeopathy.com and also the on our facebook page you will, you will definitely get the daily updates on homeopathy our facebook page that's homeopathy homeopathy and please subscribe to our channel for more videos so please watch the next part that will be uploaded soon and that's all for the time being thank you